wondering if your child has an ear infection or swimmer's ear. Today, we're gonna to talk about all the differences in the symptoms and how we make a difference in the diagnosis. So I wanna start off by talking a little bit about the difference between the different types of ear infections. So there's actually a middle ear infection, also sometimes called acute otitis media. That's what people are usually referring to when they say bacterial ear infection. And then there's also swimmer's ear, which is actually called acute otitis externa. So let's start off by talking about middle ear infection, which is acute otitis media. When you think about the ear, there's your ear, then there's the external ear canal. That's the part that connects your ear to your eardrum. Then here's your eardrum, also called your tympanic membrane. And past your eardrum on the inside, that's the middle ear. That's where your ear bone lies and your, your herring cells, etc. So when we talk about a middle ear infection, we're talking about an infection that occurs behind the tympanic membrane. And we're talking about swimmer's ear, we're talking about an infection of the external auditory canal. That's the tympanic membrane forward to the external part of your ear. We see both very frequently. 